Welcome to SWK's video series on Sage 100. This video is going to show you some of the global options that are located in company maintenance within Sage 100. The version we're looking at is 2019 with the second service pack. You'll find this panel under Library Master, Main Menu, Company Maintenance. And we're going to look at some of the options we can turn on for our company code ABC. The first thing that we have I think is a very nice option. It, if this is enabled, it will print the user information at the bottom of each report. Rather handy when you want to know when you had printed something and uh, who printed it. The next thing, we have two options for using the workstation's default printer when using the standard report setting and the standard form code. With this checked, it's going to look at the workstation to determine the default printer rather than the last printer used, no matter what user had printed the report. Our next option is allow external access. If you are using Excel to extract data from Sage 100 or really any other uh, solution, to be able to pull that data in, you're going to have to allow external access. Another um, option, which is very nice, is to be able to return city names in all caps. When you're in vendor maintenance, customer maintenance, and putting in an address, it asks you to put the zip code in before the name of the city. If this box is checked, it's going to return the city all in caps. This is very handy for those of you who like to have all of your customer and vendor information, name and address, in caps. When first installing uh, Sage and setting up a new company, you actually have some options for uh, uh, pointing the data to a, a different location than the default. I have to say I have never used this, but it is there, so I just didn't want to ignore it uh, during this video. You'll see our next three options are to display inactive information. If you do not want to see inactive customers, you're simply going to turn off the checkbox. This is particularly handy if you have a very long list and you want to, um, want to clean up your list a little bit to make it a little more manageable. Now, we have some date settings. I like this prompt for accounting date. With this turned on, each time I come into Sage and launch a module for the first time of that session, it's going to ask me for an accounting date. My preference is to have that so that I'm always thinking about what date I want to work in. If I don't have this, I have the option of auto setting the accounting date from the system date. Try it both ways. See which one you like the best. Here's a handy one. Restrict accounting date to current in one future period. Have you ever posted a journal into something 10 years um, in the future because you uh, mistyped something? Well, if that's a problem for you, enabling this feature allows you only to post in the current period for the module and one future period. We have something similar for document dates. If I select this, I can select how many prior periods and future periods I want to allow an invoice date, a check date, things like that, to be different from the uh, current period date. This is also handy to make sure you get away from some of those odd dates that can appear on documents. Try these options. I think you'll find them very handy. Hope this helps you get more out of Sage 100. Call us if you need help. 303-566-1800.